we are taping blisters today. I've been hiking all day. I have a few spots on my feet that need a little bit of care. I'm gonna show you how to get those cleaned up and taped so you can keep going. First thing you wanna do is if the blisters are gnarly enough, is to take a picture. Nothing blows up like a good blister post. These aren't bad at all, however. I have a small anvil-shaped blister on my pinky toe, and then I have a hot spot forming on the heel. Ideally, you'll want to tape before an actual blister forms. It's much better and easier to tape a hot spot before it forms into a full-on blister. I have my blister kit, and it's something that I carry as part of my standard gear. It's only a couple of ounces, and if you've ever been lame by a nasty blister, you know that's well worth the wait. Let's start by cleaning the foot. You want to get it as absolutely clean as you can, because that's what's going to determine just how well your tape job holds. I'm using this oversized wipe since I'm taping most of the foot, but if it's a small area, you can get by with a few alcohol wipes. Now the fun part. We're going to lance the blister. My general rule is that if it's raised and it's hurting, that I go ahead and lance it. I'm using this little guy. You can also use a safety pin or a larger gauge needle. The key is to keep it clean and poke several holes around the blister to help it drain properly. This blister is probably right on the fence as to whether I need to lance it, but to show you how, I'll give it a few pokes. There we go. Now that we've got most of the fluid out, we're going to prepare the skin to actually take the tape. The best product for this is tincture of benzoin. It comes in ampules and swabs like the one I have here. Just rub it generously on wherever you're going to apply the tape. And then we're going to save what we have left for a little later. Give the tincture a minute to dry, and then you'll want to dab a little something on the actual blister or hot spot itself. This will keep the tape from sticking to the actual blister and hopefully keep the roof of the blister from coming off. I use a dab of zinc oxide. Zinc is great because it'll keep the tape from sticking, but it will also actually help dry out the blister. Now it's time to tape. People use all sorts of different tapes, Luco, Micropore, even duct tape. My favorite, probably the most popular for tape jobs, is KT tape. It's super flexible, thin, breathes great, and if applied well, can actually last a day or two. Let's start with the toe. KT actually has these pre-cut blister prevention mini strips, and I've shaped them a little so they'll fit my weird toes. I like having common pre-cuts in my kit. That way I don't have to try and cut anything in the field. You'll find there's about as many ways to tape your feet as there is actual tapes to do it with. This works for me, but you may need to experiment a little to see what feels right and holds for you. Some common keys though, regardless of how you do it, is to pay close attention to the seams. Try to keep any seams in the tape from rubbing on your adjacent toes or the actual blister itself. Also, if you have excess tape that may end up causing a problem, go ahead and trim it off. Once you have it where you want it, give it a good rub to help it really stick. And there's the toe, all taped up. The heel is going to be even easier. Again, you'll see different techniques in how to do this, but I really prefer just using one piece of tape if it can cover the blister. I feel the less tape you can use, the better. I'll use the standard pre-cut for this one. If you're starting to get hot spots along the arch or forefoot, go ahead and start it above the problem, but I'm going to start it right here. Stick it on. I extend it past my shoe so there's no chance of the edge coming off. Plus then I'm not dealing with cutting anything. And then just give it a good rub down.
There you have it, your blister is protected. But to make sure the tape stays on, we'll take the remaining tincture that we saved and hit the edges. This will give it even more stick. Finally, to get it ready to go back in your shoe, we'll let it dry a minute. And then we're going to hit any of the tincture that's exposed with a little powder or lube. Here I'm using Z-Sorb. You can use Gold Bond or whatever you like. Or if you're using lube like Rungu, just make sure not to saturate the tape. We only want to keep the tincture from sticking to a fresh pair of socks when we put them back on. Also realize that as cool as it is, taping blisters is much more of an end game type of treatment. There's all kinds of prevention that you're hopeful taking before it comes to this. Now we're all taped up and ready to go again.